This video explains how to fix your printer when you have a carriage jam error message on your computer. Try turning the printer off and then on again. This will sometimes fix the issue. To do this, press the power button to turn the printer off. If the printer doesn't turn off, it may have a paper jam, which we'll talk about shortly. If it does turn off, wait 30 seconds, and then press the power button to turn the printer back on. This resets the print mechanism. Wait for the printer to turn on and stop making noise. Once the printer is back on, try printing a self-test page to see if you receive the message on the computer again. To print a self-test page, first press and hold the power button. Then raise and lower the printer lid four times while holding the power button. Then release the power button. If the page prints successfully, you don't need to continue troubleshooting. If the page doesn't print, continue on to the next step. A paper jam might cause your carriage jam. Clear the paper jam from the back of the printer first. Remove any paper from the input tray. Press the power button to turn the printer off. Go to the back of the printer and then unplug the power cord. Remove the rear access door. Check the printer for jam paper. If you see the paper in the printer, remove it by pulling evenly with both hands to avoid tearing. If the paper does tear while you're removing it from the rollers, check the rollers and wheels for torn pieces of paper that might remain inside the printer. If any torn pieces of paper remain inside the printer, more paper jams are likely to occur. Reinsert the rear access door. Go to the front of the printer. Lift the lid of the printer. Gently remove any paper you see. Make sure you get all of the small pieces that may tear off. If the paper tears while you're removing it, check the rollers and wheels for any torn pieces of paper. If any small pieces of paper remain inside the printer, more paper jams are likely to occur. We suggest using a flashlight to make sure you've removed all small pieces of paper from inside the printer. When you've removed all the paper, close the printer lid. Go to the back of the printer and plug the power cord back in. Go to the front of the printer. Press the power button to turn the printer back on. The printer will reset itself. As it resets, you will hear the printer preparing to print again. It may take longer than it usually does to turn back on. Try printing a self-test page again. To print a self-test page, first press and hold the power button. Then raise and lower the printer lid four times while holding the power button. Then release the power button. If the page prints successfully, you don't need to continue troubleshooting. If the page doesn't print, continue on to the next step. Use the following steps to make sure the carriage can move freely. With the printer turned on, open the lid of the printer. The carriage will move into the access area in the middle of the printer. Go to the back of the printer. While the printer is still on, disconnect the power cord from the back of the printer. Then go to the front of the printer. Check for any obstructions under and around the carriage that could prevent it from moving. Make sure the carriage can move freely by gently pushing it from side to side. This helps find any obstructions that might block the movement of the carriage. Close the lid of the printer. Go to the back of the printer. and reconnect the power cord. Return to the front of the printer. Press the power button to turn on the printer. Try printing a self-test page again. To print a self-test page, first press and hold the power button. Then raise and lower the printer lid four times while holding the power button. Then release the power button. If the page prints successfully, you don't need to continue troubleshooting. 
If the page doesn't print, continue on to the next step. If the error message still displays on the computer, it might not be the printer. The power supply might be the issue. To check the power, first go to the back of the printer and disconnect the power cord from the printer. Then, disconnect the power cord from any power strips or surge protectors it may be plugged into. Then plug the power cord directly into a wall outlet and then back into the printer. Go to the front of the printer and try printing a self-test page again. To print a self-test page, first press and hold the power button. Then raise and lower the printer lid four times while holding the power button. Then release the power button. If the page prints successfully, you don't need to continue troubleshooting. If the page doesn't print, continue on to the next step. There are times when improperly installing the cartridges can cause a carriage jam. In this step, we'll fix this. Make sure the printer is on. If it's off, press the power button to turn it on. Open the lid of the printer to expose the cartridges. The carriage should move into the access area in the middle of the printer. Gently press the cartridges down one at a time. The cartridge releases so you can remove it. Be careful not to touch the copper-colored electrical contacts or ink nozzles. This can cause clogs, ink failures, and poor electrical connections. Reinstall the cartridges by gently but firmly pushing them into their slots. Close the lid of the printer. Try printing a self-test page again. To print a self-test page, first press and hold the power button. Then raise and lower the printer lid four times while holding the power button then release the power button. If the page prints successfully, you don't need to continue troubleshooting. If the page doesn't print, continue on to the next step. If you've tried everything described in this video and you still have a problem, your printer likely needs some type of service. Contact HP to find out what the support options are for your printer. Your options for service may vary depending on how long you've owned the printer and what country you live in.